Bamboo Lab sent me the A1 Mini, so let's take a look at unboxing this thing and getting it set up. In this layer of foam, we have all the miscellaneous parts we're gonna to need to put this together. We have a build plate, some instructions, a toolkit that contains the following items. Nice little insert. We have some Allen keys for the looks of it. A little nozzle cleaner, one of those little needles that you stick in the nozzle if it gets clogged. Miscellaneous parts, some filament cutters underneath there. That looks like the holder for the different filaments, the tubes as it goes into the nozzle, some screws that we'll probably have to use, some lubricant oil, and these are a scraper blade. There's also a little engine model kit, as well as a purge wiper. There's also the four spool holders and a set of filament swatches from Bamboo of their own filament. Now that we've gone through that top layer, we can keep taking off the foam and get to the AMS and the printer. The AMS's cord was stuck in the foam, uh, so take the stand out first and then take that cord out of the foam. Don't do like I did here. And here's our first look at the AMS light that comes with this combo. It's pretty cool looking. And that's our first look at the printer. Let's finish unpacking this thing. It might not be the most environmentally friendly thing to do, but Bamboo Labs have really packaged this thing very well. Lots of foam holding this thing very secure. The last few items are the filament and then the tubes for the AMS system. And there's the printer. Let's get this thing hooked up. Now we're going to remove this bracket that was installed for shipping. It's got two bolts here and two bolts there using the two millimeter Allen key that was provided in the spare parts kit. One gripe that I do have is with the location of these screws. They're a bit too close to that X axis, uh, which means that with this included Allen key, it's kind of hard to actually get those things out without knocking the x-axis on every turn, especially since there isn't a ball end on this tool. Let's snip the zip tie, it's around here. The next step is going to be to tighten these three bolts located on the hotbed. They're going to be located on this far left corner, this front left, and this front right. I'll have to remove this foam, pulling that forward, and the foam at the back, same thing, pull that out the back. I got about half a turn on each of these corners. You're not trying to go too hard on these, just hand tight. Now to install the purge wiper, it's very simple. Just remove the sticker, slide the purge wiper into the mount, and install the one provided screw. So now using these holes that we're retaining that bracket on there, we're gonna install this little bracket piece and the spool holder's gonna slide down onto it. A sturdy fit. A couple last stickers and we'll move on to the AMS. Now we can put together the AMS here. So we're going to put four bolts in. Seems pretty straightforward. Just slide it onto the stand. Now 
Now we can install the spool holders. They're color coded, so green goes to green and yellow goes to yellow. I found the yellow one a lot easier to get on there because the hexagon key is easier to find and locate, but the green just twists it around until it locks in and you're good to go. Now we have these tubes. There should be two short ones and two long ones. Two short ones are going to go in one and two, and the two long ones are going to go in three and four. And you can see here the two long ones are here, and the two shorter ones. Then we're going to take this little divider piece from the spare parts kit and clean these up a little bit. One last thing that they want before you power it up is to make sure that this point here to this point here is about 50 millimeters. This needs to be super precise, but that pretty much gets us there. We also just need to take the AMS cord. And plug it into one of these connectors here. Now we can finally plug this thing in and fire it up. Now the printer is going to walk you through setting up the Wi-Fi and the Bamboo Handy app. I'm not going to show that because I'll have to blur most of it anyways. The printer will go through a couple calibration routines right off the bat, but once that's done, you can load up some filament into the AMS, install the PEI plate, and you're ready to print. Head over to this video right here on screen if you want to see the first print that came off of this printer, and I'll see you in the next one.